Okay, here we go. Another mortgage movie. We'll get the um, Consumer Affairs and Business Regulation. And we got Bay Mortgage Service, Inc., Plymouth, Mass., Temporary Order to Cease and Desist, Commonwealth of Massachusetts, Suffolk, Suffolk SS, Commissioner of Banks, Mortgage Broker, Mortgage Lender Licensing, Licensing. Okay, finding of facts and temporary order cease and desist in the matter of Bayview Mortgage Service, Inc., Plymouth, Mass., mortgage license number, finding of facts, failure to meet net worth requirements, unfair deceptive acts and practices, uh, misleading representation of prospective borrower's income, Alteration or manipulation of mortgage loan documents? Oh, really? <clears throat> no kidding. Signing of blank or incomplete disclosures. Undisclosed fees. Providing mortgage lender disclosure to customers when acting in capacity of a mortgage broker. Misreputation of the division. Interest rate. Lock commitments, engaging in prohibiting adv advertising practices, failure to provide notification on regulatory actions, conclusion of law. There it is. Okay. Order to cease and desist. All right. And that went all the way. But, um, okay. So that's uh, the order to cease and desist. And then I found this other article about uh, Peter Lucindo. It says, Boston Nick's Mate, August 7, 2012, in updates. Nick's Mate and its owner, Peter Lucindo. Nick's Mate, a New England style restaurant with a pirate theme in Boston Financial District, has been cited for food safety violations. One of its owners has left a trail of companies with bad business practices and salty language. He said, unions are for lazy fox. After opening, Nick's mate fired two pro-union workers in statements to the National Labor Relations Board. Nick's mate employees <clears throat> alleged that management harassed and intimidated them. In one instance, the manager wrote, unions are lazy mm, for the whiteboard. Fruit flies and critical food violations. In February 2012, Bostonia Hospitality Group took over management of the Hilton Financial District restaurant on March 6, 2012. Boston Food Services inspection cited this restaurant with 12 violations, including a note that there was fruit flies in the kitchen and the dining room. Four of the violations were listed as critical or foodborne ill risk factors on April 13, 2012. The name of the hotel restaurant was changed to Nick's, Nick's Mate. What's safer, a pirate ship or one of Lucinda's restaurants? Okay, Lucinda previously owned the greatest bar in downtown Boston, which went before the Boston Licensing Board eight times between 2010-2012 for multiple Violations including assault and battery, serving alcohol to a minor, overcrowding. A 2010 violation stated A and B assault and battery employee on a patron. And um, let's see, Lucinda's former former business partners sued. Sue. A verified complaint was bought brought against Peter Lucindo and Aaron Sells on July 12th of 2011 in the Suffolk Superior Court. The complaint was filed by a majority of owners of the Great Bar, where Lucindo sells previously owned, in which Lucindo managed. The complaint included allegations of waste of corporate assets, gross negligence, willful misconduct, and fraud and misrepresentation. The complaint was settled out of court. <clears throat> Excuse me. Lucindo's mortgage company in hot water in four states. Now, this is the part that... Um, Goes to my pertains to my situation. Peter Lucindo's previous career included managing the firm 
Bayview Mortgage Services, which had its banking license revoked in four states, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, New Hampshire, Florida, Florida, Oscala, hello. In addition, Lucinda's Connecticut banking license was also suspended from June 5th to September 25th, 2007. But I think this went on in from 2009 because I think I have his, his thing saying where he got it revoked. The Massachusetts Division of Banking said that Lucinda... Lucindo's company engaged in a pattern of practice of understatements or omissions of fees charged to customers by corporation and that Bay Mortgage has failed to demonstrate and maintain the character, reputation, integrity, and general fitness that would warrant the belief that the business would operate op honestly, fairly, and soundly in the public interest. Boycott Nick's mate. Stand with us and pledge not to eat any of these restaurants or do business with any of these companies related to Nick's mate owner and the investors. So it's Nick's mate penalty C Dog Brewery C Dog Brewery. Okay. And it says please continue to pay to the Hilton Financial District Downtown Boston Hotel at the same address work workers there are protected by contract and their owners have pledged to respect their rights. So there you go. Peter Lucindo. Bye.